Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial from Photoshop is Fun. So today what I want to do is show you another technique for either extracting a subject or an object out of your photograph. So very often what happens is we'll have our camera, we'll see the perfect shot, we'll go to compose it, everything will look good, but what we didn't notice is that the obnoxious uncle or maybe a dog or something stepped into the scene just before we snapped the picture. And once we get it out of the camera and back into Photoshop, we'll see that we don't have the composition that we thought we had. So we'll want to take out that object or that subject from the picture so that we have more creative capital in our final product. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and show you a technique that I stumbled across and developed using the Content Aware Move tool and a little bit of masking. It works really great um, for accomplishing this task when you have a background that isn't overly complicated. Um, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. So if you're not familiar with the Content Aware Move tool, it basically is a tool that allows you to select a subject or an object and then move it from one part of your photograph to another. And Photoshop does some pretty cool jujitsu and uh, figures out how to do that kind of smooth and seamless and, and, and fairly natural. However, it's not a perfect tool. You, you very often will have to do some cleanup work to make it happen. But that's not how we're going to use it today. We're going to actually use it, um, like I said before, to um, pull something out of the um, photograph. And, um, and we'll do that with a combination of the tool and a little bit of masking. So here's basically how it works. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is duplicate your background. So go ahead and grab it, um, drag it down to the new layer icon. That'll give you a duplicate version of it on top. And um, then we want to select our um, Content Aware Move tool. And that is located with the Healing Brush grouping. And that should be right below the eyedropper here. So if you click on the little arrow, you'll get a fly out. And then you can see Content Aware Move tool. Go ahead and select that. And then for the tool settings up here at the top, you want to make sure that Very Loose is selected in the Adaptation uh, menu. Now. What, what one you select is really going to be dependent upon the resolution and the um, complexity of the image itself um, in terms of the background from the subject that you're trying to extract. I happen to know from experience and doing this a few times that um, Very Loose is going to work best with this particular um, image. Now, if, the, if Very Loose doesn't work for yours, then go ahead and go to the other extreme at Very Strict and, and you know hone it down amongst all those settings to find out which one is best for your particular photograph. Okay, so with our tool selected, what we want to do is left click outside of the uh, subject or the object and basically just draw a little selection around them. And you want to make sure to stay on the outside. And it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. You can see here that uh, it's, it's pretty loose. And then you want to connect the ends so that you complete the um, selection. And that'll give you the March and Ants marquee. Now, this is where Photoshop does its uh, its magic, and what you'll do is anywhere within the selection, just left click on it and move it. And it's best to move it to um, a area in your photograph that doesn't have too complicated of a background. And then go ahead and um, release, and then Photoshop will run its algorithm and do what it does. Okay, so Photoshop is finished. You can see it did a fantastic job over here of filling in what essentially would be white space after moving that kid um, from the scene. And it filled it in with surrounding content. It looks really natural. If you were looking at this photograph for the first time, you'd have no idea that he was over here before. Now, on this side, it didn't do um, a perfect job. As you can see around the subject, he's got um, some of the darker tones from the trees over here. They carried over with him. And if the intention was to place him over here in the photograph, then some further uh, refinement would need to be done. And we could certainly do that with the quick selection tool and whatnot, and that'd be no problem. But that's not the case. We don't need him to be over here. So what we can do is essentially just mask him out from over here, which will reveal in the bottom layer a clean and um, kid-free part of the lawn over here. And since the top layer has already moved him from over here, we'll have a complete scene with just the archer. So I'm going to go ahead and select the top layer and then um, do a mask and then with grab my paintbrush, make sure black is the foreground color and I'm going to do a large brush size and you can use your bracket keys actually, it's a lot faster. And then I'm just going to mask out the kid. And now I have a scene that is uh, devoid of this little one and just has the archer. And I would now further refine this down um, to uh, 
you know, treat the image in such a way that um, gave me the final product I was looking for. And that is a new technique for extracting a subject or a um, object from your photograph. Till next time.